Very good question. John, is it worth getting Supercoach Plus? Well, I think it depends on what you want to get out of the the season and what type of league you're in. So, for example, at our work, the league that we're in, if you get the lowest score for the round, you need to bring in a 12-pack of cinnamon donuts on the next office day. If you have Supercoach Plus or Supercoach Gold and you get the lowest score, the punishment doubles, so you've got to bring in 24. So there's a little bit of risk and reward. Um, I think if you're if you're talking about just wanting to get the right plays in to get good scores. I think everyone knows enough about the game to to have a better understanding of what players are going to score well. So you probably don't need it from that sense. But in terms of making money with your break-evens and the price rises and things like that, I think it is essential in that sense. But also, cheeky little tip here, you can just use footy wire per the screenshot behind me and uh, they give you the break-evens, they give you the, the the expected price rises and everything. Uh, the only thing is I don't know how live and up-to-date the data is, but I based my trades this week on the info I read on Footy Wire with getting Keane in uh, and Dempsey in, and obviously you know got Sam Darcy there showing as minus twenty minus ninety two break even, which is which is accurate as per this week per what Supercoach Gold says. Um, so it's a little bit of yeah up to yourself what you want to do. What is it twenty five dollars? I think it's probably easy to have it all in one place, um, but just know that Footy Wire can give you the the same kind of data. Um, and it just depends on, yeah, if you're wanting to, to generate the cash, you probably do need some type of tool to do that. If you're just worried about player scores, you can maybe even just back in your own footy knowledge.